Hey there YouTube, I'm just going to do a quick overview for the fog project here to show how to add a custom ISO or image file that can be booted via the Pixie boot menu. Uh, to do this, all you need to do is uh, simply create a new folder under the TFTB folder under your fog server. In that folder you make a, um, you name it something relevant such as uh, Dell Diagnostics or um, anything else you need to pixie boot be an ISO file and in that folder you place the memdisk file, your ISO and then you just simply modify your default file to accept those changes. Uh, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of this here. Um, I already have my fog server set up and running and you'll notice if I do a really quick um, test uh, pixie boot here in VMware under a just a demo version of Windows XP I have here you'll notice that this should look fairly standard except for the background. Um, the background I changed um, to be just a little bit more colorful. You can change it to whatever you want as well. Um, but the main point of this here is nothing else is added. Um, I've just got the standard boot menu that you see. Um, what we're going to be doing is adding another option in here to add a Dell Diagnostics to be booted. Uh, to do this, um, let me shut this down here, and we're going to open up your favorite uh, FTP client. In this case, I'll use FileZilla, and I'm actually going to connect to the Fog server on my end here locally. So uh, everyone's is different, but I'll just type mine in here, and then enter your Fog username and your Fog password. This is the username and password on your Fog server. And as soon as you're connected, you're going to go to the main root directory, scroll all the way down, and we've gone to the TFTP boot folder. Maximize that, and go down to the fog folder, and maximize this. You'll notice in here we've got three folders when you first install fog, and we're going to add a fourth so we can add um, an option for the Pixie boot menu. All you do is right click on fog here, make a new directory, we'll call this Dell. Say OK. And then in here you can see it's blank. All I'm going to be doing is dragging over the ISO file over here that I want to add in case this case is the Dell Diagnostics. It's about 8 megs. You can simply left click, drag, and drop it right here. It'll copy it over directly to my fog server. And then I'm going to grab a copy of Memdisk. Um, now Memdisk is part of SysLinux and it allows in the latest versions to boot ISO files, which is really nice. Um, Fog includes a copy of Memdisk, um, so you can go back to the TFTP boot folder here. And you'll notice, I've off one folder here, excuse me, missed it. Here it is. Um, it includes a copy of Memdisk already. Um, so all I you did is copy this over to my desktop and then copied it back. Um, or you can download the latest version from um, uh, SysLinux directly um, from their archives. Um, to get back to it here, we're just going to go to Fog. We're going to go to Dell. I'm also going to drag Memdisk into here as well. And the copying portion is done. The only last thing we need to do is edit uh, the default file. And that is located under the TFP boot and then under pxelinux.cfg. This is the config file. And to edit this, I can actually edit it directly in FileZilla here. Um, so I can right click, save, view, edit, and I can open this in Notepad. Um, I prefer to copy mine to the desktop and work on it, and I've already done that. So just to be an example, um, you can just copy this directly to your machine and edit it. So. Here is what I'll do. Let's copy this directly over. And here's the new default file. This is directly off of the fog server now. Uh, copy to fo a version of this directly to my machine, and I can copy it right back and append it. So I'll right click, say open, and I'll open this with WordPad. And this is pretty standard here. Uh, as far as what you're going to see. Um, so this is the boot menu that you're typically used to see. Um, and I've included uh, over here a copy of the default file that we're going to add in here. Um, so we're just going to copy that and then add another line into our default file. The label is uh, Dell Diagnostics, which
which indicates um, what this um, option is. Menu password, don't worry about this. Under kernel, you need to make sure that um, this line right here, del, matches what you have under here. So letter for letter, it's case sensitive. Make sure that this matches that. Under line three here, under append, make sure that again, uh, fog slash del, this folder, you can see how the path matches here. Um, in this case, it's the folder or fog, the del folder, and then this is pointing to the ISO that is on the uh, TFTP boot folder. And this one above, again, is pointing to the memdisk under the TFTP boot folder. And that's basically it. Uh, the rest of this here is just a description. Uh, menu label is what shows up when you pixie boot. And then the description down here is what shows up um, explaining what that my new option is. All I have to do is go to File and Save. And this is now saved for the new version. Um, so all I have to do now is copy the default file back over to the machine. And that's again under the PXE linux.cfg. Copy this directly back over to here. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite. You'll notice that the target file is smaller and the local file is larger. And that's because we made some changes to it. So go ahead and say overwrite. And then to confirm, we have our Dell folder, and we have Dell Diagnostics and Membiscair. And that's basically it. The last thing we have to do is try it out. So we'll go back to my VMware. You can pixie boot a real computer, but it's easier for me to show you just in real time. We'll just power this machine back on again. And you'll notice there is a Dell folder now. Seems it goes. All right, so Dell Diagnostics are now down here. You notice that uh, the text says Dell Diagnostics and description is what's shown underneath. If I hit enter, it'll uh, boot that ISO for, um, once it loads into memdisk. And even though it's this VMware, it will boot uh, Dell Diagnostics. I can test the system in real time here. Even though it's a virtual machine, I can still uh, get information on it and even run a virtual check, and as crazy as that sounds. Um, if you wanted to repeat the steps to add a, your own ISO file, such as uh, DBAN or any other flavor of Linux, such as uh, Ubuntu, you could also put that via Pixie. Um, the options are pretty much endless. The only things that you cannot Pixie boot that I've found um, are the old legacy versions of Windows, such as um, Windows 2000, Windows XP. Uh, with Windows Vista and Windows 7, you can boot into recovery mode, but you cannot boot the actual ISO into memory and have it uh, install on your system without some uh, special changes that you uh, would need to get into, and I'm not going to get into that here. Uh, but you can see in real time here, I am working in... Um, Sort of straight down, that's kind of funny. I'm working in the Dell Diagnostics under VMware um, that has been pixie booted. So, uh, if you guys have any other questions, let me know.